For a laid-back guy throwing out butterflies, Anji can be the pinnacle of frustration in Guilty Gear Plus R. Blessed with savage pressure and his ever-so-powerful guard point frames, Anji is a devil to fight against if you don't understand what he's doing. Few players embody Anji's spirit of relentlessness the way Wukash does. In Anji and Biken dual main, Wukash excels at forcing opponents to make mistakes, and today he gives us a look at all of Anji's secret sauce. What is up y'all, KRC Pinto here. Today, I'm hanging out with Wukash. Wukash, one of the best Anjis to ever do it in Plus R. Wukash, how you doing today, man? Hey, I'm doing great. This is, a, this is an awesome opportunity. Thanks so much. Dude, super stoked to have you here today. Your Anji is legendarily really, really, really good and hard to deal with. So today, let's dig into that a little bit, figure out you know how you make this character work so well. Sound good? Yeah, sounds awesome. All right, let's do it. So to kick things off for Plus R, you know, every character has something pretty unique about them. Anji, no different. His unique thing is guard point on his moves. Super powerful tool. Do you just want to talk about that gimmick in itself and like how it works? Yeah. So Anji has a thing called guard points, which you some people might think of them as like super armor a little bit but they're not quite that they are kind of related to that but pretty much it's basically on during some of his attacks he has certain block frames so he is able to block attacks um while attacking um and the thing with that is the windows are pretty small and they are on pretty specific things but whenever they do occur you can uh, go into a couple of special powerful moves and those moves are pretty strong. So Anji can win certain um, certain like battles with that or certain like situations, certain en engagements can go heavily in his favor if you can match the guard point specifically to the situation or the opportunity or if the opponent um, just kind of falls into them and then you can you can beat out almost everything in the game. It just lets him kind of truck through things, right? I mean, that's what makes him so hard to fight. Exactly. It does depend. It's not infallible, and it de does depend on you to press the... The windows can be very small, and, you know, it depends on you as well to uh, to do... To do to press a button and also select the correct one, because you could, you could select the wrong one, you know, they can still be baited. They can still be um, baited or evaded or in some way um you know they can turn it around against him it's a little bit similar to like how biken does guard cancels which is coincidentally the other character that i play you know but um but yeah yeah so let's set testament here to attack us a little bit let's say with that 214p and then we can do a guard point move out of it so what i selected there is 5d actually 5D has an unusually high guard point uh, window. I think it's uh, 4 through 17. So it's not from frame 1, but it has a very large window. And out of it, I do the P guard point special. So if you also want to see, the P, the P guard point special is, call, is called Red or Ko uh, in Japanese. And the cool thing about it also is how much meter it gives. So if we show that, Anji a lot of meter, and that that was actually with low tension pulse, so Anji can get even more. And in the corner, it actually allows for a follow up. So this move is this is like one of those moves that I fell in love with. You know, when playing when playing Anji back in Reload, um, it was Anji actually had much bigger uh, guard point windows than that. And then, so that that's one of the guard uh, guard point moves, but there that's not the only one. The other one is a force break. So if we give myself some tension, you can uh, you can choose to spend it on this one. And this one gives a full knockdown. You regain uh, movement options for 25 meter. You do this uh, do this special move. It goes all the way up. It has invul at the beginning. So it's very powerful. It can let you escape setups like from dizzy, for example. You can you can just turn around a lot of things because it will kind of suck the opponent in and go up into the air. And even if you whiff, you can move after it. And in Vanilla Accent Core, you were not able to move after it. So, so, so 
another so one. The guard point almost works like a Rekka. Like if they hit you during the invul frames, you can push another button and cause like, like another action to happen. It's like a cancel, I'd say. It's a cancel during, um, it's almost like an alpha counter, except it happens during a block frame of an attack because they gave him block frames during attacks. Um, and we got to show the other one. The other one is this one. Uh, blue, this one called, or Ao, or whatever in Japanese, right? Uh, this one is very cool. I love this one. Um, this move is so powerful. Uh, this lets you uh, follow up with a combo. Um, it has an FRC at the end. I don't know if I'm going to hit the FRC. <laughs> there it is. Um, and it also generates a fair amount of meter for Anji, about 25 meter. And this move has interval at the beginning. And even if they block it, um, Anji is plus at the end. So this means that not only you generate enough meter to FRC the move itself by the end, which lets you burst bait or cancel, you know, in case you need to cancel it. Even if they do block it, you're plus. But in most cases, you just steam through, uh, steamroll through them because this, mo this move has invul, and then it lets you combo after it. So it's very powerful whenever you do that. You know, you can you can guard point like with this move with the with that Fujin follow up. You know, that's a that's a pretty popular one, um, uh, and a bunch of other things. Um, so yeah, those are the those are the guard point specials. The last one being the super, which is very rarely used. It has generous like hurt boxes on it. Um, um, but it's it's not very commonly used. Um, there it is. It has an FRC on it too before the last hit, so it lets you do some show off -y combos. Um, and the cool thing about it too is that um, the super occurs during hit stun or something like that. Um, not sure how to describe it technically, but uh, it occurs like on the same frame. So. Um, just kind of how like supers come out, and if you're not already blocking, but you can't block them in that right. kind of. Yeah. So do all those uh, specials make sense so far? Yeah. 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 So the only the other thing to know, like if you are Anji or if you are fighting Anji, is like which which moves have a uh, guard point on them. So like six K is pretty popular. Six K actually has an FRC on it too. The the cool thing about six K is that it has a uh, guard point from frame one. So you can do this as a reversal. So if Testament were to do some kind of Oki on us, or or Kai would send a projectile on us, if we get up and press six K, then we can immediately do the K guard point, stop his approach, um, you know, block the projectile or block the Oki move and do this one. And not many people know about this one. Actually, in the recent, uh, I had many questions where like, Anji like did this one wake up and they weren't sure with what move he went into the guard point move. So you can do that. And then um, 3K and 3S and 2HS all have a low guard point. So we can use those moves to specifically call out um, low approaches. Like this one can easily counter, for example, uh, Grand Viper. Yeah, so as you can see, like this has a crazy, uh, crazy long low guard point window on it. It has the biggest window. It's like almost, uh, it's the, almost the entire duration of uh, 3S is a guard point. Uh, there we go. And then um, you can, you can actually co uh, do a full nice combo out of it too. Or, Sick. yeah, or you can just do just go straight into the K guard point. Let's see. It's kind of hard to follow it up sometimes because um, the window is very small. But yeah, that there that the last one was a nice one. So yeah, um, that's for the low ones. Um, yeah, I think that's about everything about guard point that there is to know, I'm pretty sure. Such a powerful tool when used right. Honestly, pretty wild, like how oppressive this allows him to be. Yeah, especially like 6S has a guard point on it and it's a very far reaching poke. So Anji, um, Anji can easily, you know, kind of like push forward in neutral and approach as the as um as I was using it on in our matches against your Venom. Um, like if I just approach with this, I'm kind of cutting out your air approach, your ground approach, and if you, um, you know, stuffing you with this move, and if you 
hit it at the right frame. I mean, the, win the window on this is pretty small, but if I do it right, then I can go straight into that powerful K guard point special, generate a lot of meter, turn it into a combo, turn it into Oki, turn it into damage, etc, etc. For against like very obvious air approaches, I use um, I use 5D, which is kind of wild because uh, because it's dust. So you know if they if they um, if they bait it or, or something, it looks kind of funny. It looks like I'm just pressing dust. That's actually it's actually very common that um, in in tournaments to see me like whiffing dust or randomly doing dust, and then them getting hit by the overhead because you know I just did dust for some reason and people often like land and block low, um, but. Why? I'm I'm using it to uh, to try to anti-air guard point, basically. You know, what's your personal favorite move of Anji's and why? Me a normal, a special, just whatever you like best. What are we gonna see you throw out the most in a match? Mm, yeah, I thought about this some. Like I was like, it's it's kind of hard to um, hard to pick. Like obviously, you know, I like the stomp super, which is kind of wild. Um, orb is really cool. Um, Butterfly is very cool. I mean, I love a lot of that there is to love about Anji. It's, it's like anybody would uh, would do like a joy crying face and say that my favorite move is Fujin because <laughs> Fujin just kind of shortcuts neutral and Fujin is Fujin, right? But I think my favorite moves are those guard point specials moves because I think it's just so cool to see them. Like, look at this, like, um, I, I'm going to say both the, the that P move and the K move, the ground one doesn't work as well against air so that's when that's why you have to select between the two appropriately but just like look at how cool this move is look how much meter it generates um this is a full untackable knockdown towards the corner it just hits eight times it looks so cool and anji just starts rising in this like you know dp like move hitting so many times boom 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 and same with that ground one the ground one hits four times and it's just so so powerful like every time i tell people about it um it's just really cool because i tell them you know you know, even if you block this move, Anji is plus, Anji generates enough meter, and oh yeah, this move also has an FRC. It's just kind of it's just kind of wild. It's really fun. In your opinion, what are some of the best and worst matchups for you when you're playing Anji? Like who you dread fighting and who do you like just know you're gonna win when you end up against them? Um, so let's see. I mean it's very highly dependent on player. Like I think that um my hated matchups personally are like Jam, Milia, Slayer, and uh, probably Justice and Soul. Soul and Order Soul only because they have a ridiculous hurt box. Like they 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 like weirdly like shrink in the air. It, it, it's really strange. Um, like a, a a bunch of things just whiff on them. Anji can't really. Can't really like Fujin loop them like Anji has those loops in the corner, right? And he just can't really do uh, do them on, on on them at all. So I would say those are the most annoying. Um, jam is not as huge problem for Anji as like as as Jam is for Biken. So like there's some matchups where I'll pick Anji over Biken, you know, depending on what it is. Um, but yeah, I'd say those are personally my hated ones. And Milia, like with Milia, you know, when when Anji needs to kind of decide which guard point to do on wake up, like guard points don't help a ton because you still have to guess high or low. And when she's doing her Oki and she can layer it and call out any guard point or she can throw and, and stuff like that. She's in the air all the time. I think Anji is a little bit weak in the air. Anji has like, OK, air normals. Um, uh, some are some are strong, some are kind of weak, but I mean, they're no they're no like Slayer JH or or Soul JH or anything like that. Anji doesn't. Anji has good like ground to air combos, but does not have too does not really have too much of a air to ground combo where you like pick up more unless it's like a JD counter hit or something, which is a little bit rare to get. But yeah, most characters um like for liked matchups, I I like I like going against Zappa. We, we we can easily combo chip for huge damage. We just need like one hit. Um, it's really easy to confirm with Anji into like gun stuff and, and Fujin stuff. Um, same with Mei. Mei takes a big damage. Um, Eddie Eddie and Johnny and Jam are actually really fun to combo. There's a 
there's a if, if we go later to the combo section i can show you like there's combo there's uh some specific stuff that we can only get on them um yeah i i i i'm pretty okay finding testament too testament is fun testament has an awesome hurt box as well for us faust too um potemkin potemkin is really fun to fight against as anji um anji has very good tools against potemkin um it's really fun to pressure him there's some potemkins that i just don't let out of the corner like at all or you can like and en almost endlessly unblockable setup potemkin too which is really fun um doesn't mean it's like a it doesn't mean that like potemkin can't do anything to anji but still it's really fun <laughs> all right so let's talk about anji in neutral so where the game starts you know it's a big part of the game you got to close the gap what are you doing with Anji to deal with other players in neutral? Overall, I mean, Anji is a pressure-oriented character, and I think that's why I really like him, because, like, he he isn't just, like, a 50-50 character. He is somebody who can, who likes to just put you in a lot of block stun, do a lot of, like, do a lot of stuff where he just kind of keeps pressure on you and stuff like that and dances around you. Um, so in terms of, like, how a match starts, um, Anji actually has a very powerful round start. Um, because of 6S, which we mentioned, like, it, whatever button they press, they will probably get stuffed, uh, or guard point will trigger, and then we immediately do a guard point special. Or if they jump, which is also a very popular round start, they will also get hit by, um, get hit by, um, 6S, and then, you know, if we put, if we put them into jump, uh, the jump motion, yeah, so, like, if, if, if they're jumping on start, you're, you're like, damn, I, I, I'm i gonna do a combo on you already, right? Um, that follow-up looks pretty clean, too. Is that easy to combo from, from that range? Yeah, Anji, Anji has a very good uh, confirm range. And Johnny's also pretty big, so that that's the thing, too. But yeah, um, there's a super jump, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but neutral-wise, I mean, Anji is a fairly balanced character um, who does have to get close to their opponents, so, you know, your your fund fundamentals or my fundamentals, like, really need to come through in terms of, like, how to approach the opponent, um, not over, not overly jump, and I definitely, you know, when I was younger and, and less experienced, I think I... And I still, I still do all the time. I just, I just, I love to air dash in and and, and go in. And obviously, um, some players are more ready for that. Some players are, are less ready for that. Some players will counter that r right away. Um, but we, yeah, we didn't definitely need to approach and get in range for our normals um, to start that pressure. Um, the only thing we can really do at range is butterfly, which is sometimes a uh, not a good option because it can give up neutral, they can immediately air dash to us or do some kind of other projectile or they can teleport to us or or whatnot, right? But if they try to approach us or if it's like kind of like this range, then there's not a lot that they can do and it's good to like contest other projectiles or stuff like that. I like to throw it out when like Eddie's on the screen and, and I'm too far from getting drilled. By, by Eddie, right? So it can just kind of put up a nice buffer there. Or if Biken needs to approach me, like it's not it's not a bad option either. Um, and then like the, what a lot of Anjis I think underestimate is that um, 6S is super powerful in neutral because many, pe many people might look at 6S and be like, well, it doesn't really like combo or anything. So uh, it doesn't combo that well. Like it can go into uh, like, like 2D a normal hit or stuff like that it doesn't combo into 3s which also reaches far it doesn't combo into 5hs it doesn't combo into uh, um it combos into 2s which is another like route into 2d but yeah however unless if it, it unless um, uh, that's unless it counter hits right and then if it counter hits then we get that uh 5hs and the thing with 5HS is it puts them in crouching state. And if they're in crouching state, that means that um, HS Fujin will hit. So so then so then like we get a nice like big combo on them, right? Nice. Cause really really your goal is to hit them with, with H combo into um into HS Fujin. Um, and the other way you can do that if they're close is to use 5S. If you hit them with 5S, great confirm, big damage, easy stuff, right? 
we can talk a little bit about 6P. 6P is like actually I kind of secretly it's like a secretly amazing button. It, it's not it's not always the best anti-air because it won't cover like actual jump-ins. But it, it's very good at stuffing air dashes or kind of like lower approaches. But it's also like really good at um, on the ground. On the ground, it will actually evade a lot of buttons. So you can do stuff like that, you know. And and the amazing thing about six P is that it just combos into um, HS Fujin naturally, or you can do or you can do six uh, five HS and and stuff like that. So. You kind of have like this poking game with Anji where you can do this or that, you know. Um, and 3K, which is a far-reaching low. Um, this move is this move is kind of bonkers. Uh, not a lot of people know about it either. Um, 3K, um, blowback on counter hit into a nice like full combo and whatnot. Um, it is throw and vol, so this is like your go-to button when people try to throw you, and then you're just like, haha, I got you, and I combo you. You know, um, and also it has a guard point on lows, uh, a small window, but it is from frame one. So let's say like Robokai is approaching you on wake up. Robokai might do um, 5k or he will command throw you uh, to get meter. If you wake up 3k, you will actually beat both options because you will guard point for low and you, you can just press K again to get the guard point fo follow up or you will not get um, command thrown. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a, that's an interesting like tool to have. Not counter hit, it doesn't do that much. It only really combos into like S Fujin. Um, and then the other things that Anji can do in neutral, Anji has a very unique super jump uh, with this huge arc, which I've already shown off some. But this is a this is obviously a very powerful um, transport tool that Anji has. Um, he can easily. Uh, just kind of bait out approaches or something, you know, do something like that. Or he can just uh, get out of the corner if I'm cornered, stuff like that. And it's a it, it, and it's a big combo tool. So that's another like tool that Anji has for neutral. Um, and then we also do have um, HS Fujin, which is obviously. Um, Kind of like a horizontal DP, basically, with five follow-ups. And I think um, what's important here is that it's actually good to have some restraint on this tool. Like, obviously, sometimes uh, it has huge payoff. I think often when I'm looking to, like, close out the round and they have very low health, I will just try to Fujin. Because Fujin can, hit, like, catch a backdash or something like that, catch them pressing a new button, put pressure on them. It is a special move that does uh, some chip damage, right? And then it has five follow-ups. So I think we can maybe talk about the follow-ups briefly, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, like, the follow-ups um, all have weaknesses to them. So there's P, which has these projectiles. P is generally pretty safe. Um... Especially like in block pressure and whatnot, or in a combo like that, it will just kind of like OTG them. But if we we if we put him to guard, you know, yeah, like like it does stuff like that, kind of like retains your pre you can kind of like retain your pressure. Um, your your jump options are available after that, so you can just kind of keep going, um, like that. I like to, I, I, my, especially old school approach was always to just like air dash back in. I've, I've, I've done that for like years now. So that's P. But the, the weaknesses of it is that, um, the wind up time is so big that they can actually, uh, just jump up and hit you, counter hit you, and get big damage. Like if they, if they are ready for it, then they will, then they will punish it badly. There's a, there's a lot of time. This is not, uh, some kind of like, string that's totally safe or anything so then uh, that, that's the main thing about uh fujin follow-ups that if they are ready for the option then they will start punishing you hard because the the other one uh nagiha which is done with the s button is kind of similar in that regard except that it is a low with an frc on it like that the frc is very late it's easy to get the um rc as well but um, the thing with it is that it's, I'm pretty sure, minus 19 on block, so if they just block 
um, then they can uh, punish Anji pretty well. See, like Johnny is way done with a block stun uh, from blocking that Nagiha, and we're still in recovery. Um, it's a it's a combo tool. Um, it's a nice knockdown tool. That is, that is one way to just get a get a nice easy knockdown. It's not a combo, but you know something like that. Right. Or in the corner, you can do stuff like that. Um, so so that's that's the S option, and then the K option is a grab. Or rather, you know, it's a hop, but the grab is a popular option after it. So the the hop will cross up. Um, it has it will jump over lows. Um, it can sometimes pass pass through some attacks. I think it depends on their on their hitbox. I'm not sure about the specifics of that, but basically, you, know, you, you you can just get around the the hurtbox of the attack. I think if you are already starting to cross them up, um, so you can cross up their inputs. Uh, you can do some kind of fancy stuff. Like I like to do something like this, where you kind you're kind of not super sure where I'm gonna end up, like that. Just put just putting pressure on them. But uh, the thing with this move too, um, the weakness of it is that they can throw you first. So if they're ready for it, they will throw you first. Um, or they can do like a throw involve move or something else to beat you out of it. So that's the thing to know about the K hop. Um, and then the last two options are Rin. There's Rin and there's FB Rin. So this is an overhead with a uh, guard point in the middle of it. Let's see if I can time it. Like that. Uh, it has a pretty big guard point window on it, but it does not uh, work against lows. So if Johnny, you know, just does 2D, um, he will beat us. So it does not guard point um, lows. Um, Anji's just free to lows during this entire move. But it is an overhead that um, uh, that has guard point in the middle, and then it leaves us at zero for block. Um, it has a it has a nice knockdown on it. So if you're ever comboing, you can just kind of do like this and just keep going. So that's Rin. That's the HS option. And the last one is uh, the Force Break Rin. This is a pretty amazing Force Break. Um, there's it's a fully, it's always an untackable knockdown that you can, you can just kind of keep going like this if you want to. You know, you can, you can, you can carry him uh, across the stage if you want to. Like you can just keep chaining this if you want twice. And then like, like you still get a combo. Um, if you don't, you don't even have to. You can just like, you can just like do um, force break butterfly. And that will reach all the way from there. That's 50 meters, so that's a little silly, but uh, you can if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is a huge, just a corner carry knockdown tool. Just depends a little bit on their wall bounce, but basically you get stuff like that. And it has it's similar to the uh, not force break ring. Um, it still has a guard point in the middle of it. Like your force break can still proc guard points, you know, on them. Um, and it's still an overhead, and this one leaves us more plus after they block it. So yeah, this is a super easy way to just you just press D, and you have uh, this amazing, this amazing like knockdown tool, um, corner carry combo, uh, combo tool. You're playing a, a strong neutral game. You got them blocking, and now it's time to open them up, make them trip up, keep them sweating. What are you doing? Keep them feeling pressure until you can open them up. Uh, in terms of opening the opponent up, um, it's really, you know, the sky's the limit with Anji, which is the fun thing. Um, he's got a lot of ways to open the opponent up, or even just keep them pressured um, and uh, build up their build up their uh, guard gauge. So honestly, whatever wh whatever thing you do is fine. Yeah, so in terms of uh, mixing up, you know, there's a couple of options from Fujin, like for the low or the or the or the overhead, but they're pretty reactable. And there's also throw, the hop into throw, which is also pretty reactable, but can work if they press a button or anything. It's kind of just a mind game 
of like, am I just gonna do Nagiha here and stuff your button, or am I gonna do this, or am I gonna go into a, a, a guard point special maybe? But um, the throw is really important for Anji's game because it's a perfect knockdown into a butterfly that lets us, you know, reset pressure. Um, sometimes, like, even off a of butterfly, you can just go into throw like that. And then, and then you you basically reset stuff. Um, so there's that. There's you know the the cross ups that we mentioned like that, and and even off of stomp. Like on wake up, this can be um, an ambiguous uh, cross up with the stomp. And the stomps are pretty re rewarding on hit. They they give us a nice combo. Um, and you can do that with either the P stomp or the K stomp. Like someone said, the Wukash special is to um, is um, is the K-stomp into the P-stomp, something like that. <laughs> the the smoke the smoke covers, uh, there's a little bit of a smoke cover there and whatnot. Um, you can FRC-stomp into this if you want to like mind game there more. Um, there's uh, 6HS actually has a FRC at the end. Well, right before the end, right before it hits, right? So you can you can do something like this, and it's like nobody nobody's gonna like react to that. That's that's pretty that's pretty good. Um, and then we can go more into we can we can cover we can come back to butterfly pressure a little bit more. But let's talk about like our overhead and low options and whatnot. So let me let me actually set him to block low. But my recording. So there's a couple of options, like the first one being 3P. 3P is just basically our overhead as well as uh, as well as dust. But uh, in terms of 3P, 3P does need butterfly to help with combo, or it needs meter. Uh, that's a pretty rare option, but I do do it sometimes, like in the corner or to like finish the opponent up and whatnot. So some I do RC it sometimes. Or on counter hit, um, 3P does a ground bounce and we get a combo out of it anyway. So if you're mashing, Anji will just counter hit you uh, with that in combo. Or we do a butterfly mix up. So it would be like something like this. Let's see. You know, something like this. And we got a nice, nice combo into like more pressure and whatnot. So like there's 3P for that. Um, then there's uh, like other butterfly stuff we can do, which is like something like that. We can do we can do a fancy um, instant air dash JD into um, into an ambiguous cross up. Good to bait out like some options and whatnot. You can you can even just do stomp, you know, which might hit or might be blocked. Um, you can in the corner. I personally like to just do like something like that, like uh, just a simple 6S into um, air dash, air, um, air dash uh, JHS because this is a very tight block string. So many opponents like you know after after they get hit by the initial hit of butterfly, they have some options. They can they can jump up and block. They can. They can dash forward actually um, and try to attack. They can just poke. So see, as I was trying to approach there, um, and Johnny just stuffed us with a uh, super fast 2HS. However, we can stuff it with uh, with that 6S and the guard point. So, so that's why I like this uh, for pressure. I really like this um, string. And even even if we don't guard point, we we still air dash cancel into a falling JHS, so we, you know, we regain uh, advantage. We keep up pressure. Um, you can even do a simple um, this into into stomp if, if that's easier for some players. And you still, you know, even if he blocks all this, you still end up right in front of him, and you can do more pressure. You can uh, you can do throw and whatnot. Um, so yeah, there's th there's three P for overheads. There's there's with throw. Um, there's countering mashing, which I think is a really 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 big deal. Um, countering mashing is huge. Um, lots of players, you know, 
you, lots of players mash at all kinds of levels um definitely at the you know medium and like more to advanced players more often than not will try to press buttons will try to find that gap it depends on their character too or maybe maybe it's not just mashing maybe it's a dragon punch maybe it's a reversal super um and stuff like that like like that this kind of distance will might be safe against some supers and whatnot so that's why that's why I like I, I like to do that. It will be uh, DP safe and whatnot. You can do you can also do a 3K instead for a low. You can do that. Then like the other um, overhead option is TK orb. So Tiger need orb, which will cost us 50 meter or in this case it costs us 75 meter. But because I chose to use the force break. You can mid screen. You can get away with using hop probably, and combo like this or something like that, or or go into like the super jump routes, like that. That's that was actually a proper knockdown combo on Johnny with that falling um, falling JHS. Um, something uh, something that's definitely worth practicing and like learning on some characters. You know, there's a bunch of character specific stuff. But yeah, going back to going back to mix up like with that with that orb, we, there's a couple of ways that we can utilize it. Sometimes I do kind of like a noob killer where I do like dash into into this and like still follow with the orb. And some players will press a button in there, you know, as I as I fall, or they or they thought it's the last overhead because JHS, you know, you can't gatling into anything else, so. So there's that, um, or you can do something like 5k into, not stomp, but 5k into that because 5k is jump cancelable, like that. So you have a nice little like instant overhead um, for 50 meter with uh, different combos in the corner or, 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 or mid screen. So there's like the overhead option, but yeah, I mean, the, and then not even mix up, but we have unblockable setups off of this. Where if we come up and hit him with a low at the same time, then uh, Force Break Butterfly will um, will be an unblockable setup. Um, and the the mix up you hear or the mind games can still happen because if Johnny has over 50 meter or has burst, he might try to super out of it or he might dead angle. So that's why sometimes I like to run up and 5D players because. The generous guard point frames on that move will let us do a guard point and uh, a guard point special and stuff whatever they did or whatever they spent meter on. Yeah, that's so, devious. Yeah, exactly. So I think mix up wise, mix up wise, that is that is mostly it. There's a couple of more like wild things that you know people keep discovering or doing. Like you can do this like double double overhead thing. That that uh, me and a couple people were talking about in a Discord today, where it's like a falling, falling um, JS into J, uh, JD, which is really good against tall characters. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Um, it works on Soul. We are trying today, um, so you can do something like this, uh, where if it hits him high enough and you press JK. Like that, you can actually combo him. What? Yep. That's so sick. that's like another thing. Let's see if I can get the full combo though. There, that's the whole combo. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so you can do that. Um, another thing, like some player was was showing, was uh, there's like a there's like a after like Fujin hits, you can do what? that. Didn't widen that knockdown. You can do this like reverse cross up like that with Fujin after after they after they ground bounce for from this like jump back and like do a reverse cross up or a fake cross up something like that. That is some nasty um, OT. Yep. So there's a there's a there's a lot with Anji and it's really you know. All about like you and like what you want to do. Um, in terms of with the butterfly, there's just like so much flexibility with it. You can run up and do a string, 
you can run up and not do a string because maybe they're they're um, doing a reversal or something, but then the follow-up will hit them while you're blocking. If you're blocking, then the, the follow-up does not disappear. Um, and then they will just uh, hurt themselves in the process, or you can call it out, call something out with a guard point. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely with with three K, three P, and a fancy. Um, there's also a fancy little um, respect mix-up that people like to do. That's really fun to do. I just have to put the respect button back. There's also uh, this funny respect mix-up where you know after a knockdown. Fake them out with that with an with this. Because it looks like the three P. Yeah, it looks like three P exactly. So you just do two S out of it. It's a respect, so you can cancel it. So you do either a high low or low out of it. And nice. the butterfly can cover you. That is also quite devious. It's yeah. A very devious character. <laughs> exactly. We haven't really mentioned uh, 3S cancelling, which is another technique. I just pulled it off there. Um, the the early frames of 3S, uh, there's a certain window. You can um, you can use them to cancel into whatever move you want, even if that move doesn't normally have a Gatling. So the input would be something like 2S, 3S, 5S. So see, I'm doing 2S, 3S, but if I press 5S at the right time, uh, like that, then it can become a combo. So even though even though 2S does not Gatling into 5S, see I'm trying it now, it doesn't work. If we use that 3S cancel, uh, we can get a string with Anji that normally does not work. Or you can even like, see I just, I just reversed Gatling from 5HS into 5S. And that was because I did 3S in between. And you can also do a repeated 5S with it, which is really strong. I don't... I don't pull it off a lot. Uh, you can actually... you can do it repeatedly. You can actually do... you can do it like seven times in a row if you want. But uh, the timing is a little bit finicky. So, mostly I would do it two times. Um, a lot of players like to... if they can, if they're proficient, you can do it like three times in the corner for corner pressure, um, and that crank, cranks up the guard gauge to insane levels. Just doing, uh, just doing that so many times. The the five S, the five S generates a lot of guard gauge on the opponents. Yeah. Uh, is there a section on combos? Just combos? No, no not really. Section, right. But I'll feel free if you just want to show off some combos and explain them and do your thing. Be my guest. Combo away. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, briefly, if we want to talk about combos, um, I think what's cool about Anji is that um, I feel like his combos um, are more accessible than most people's, especially if you want to do just um, just kind of simple things. Like, you can very easily get away with just doing like a combo like this, which is pretty simple. Um, not, as, not that simple like to start with, but this really... In terms of Guilty Gear, difficulty is pretty easy. You literally just do 5S, 5HS into Fujin, into one button, you know, special, which is the, the Force Break. And then you just do another Fujin right, right after that. And then when they cross you up, you do two buttons and then you do On. Yeah, we haven't really talked about On, but On is another, um, is a nice, you know, um, anti-air uh, option. Um, uh, a command, a unique command grab that um, actually has a lot of cool opportunities with it to knock down, or you can get some crazy, co crazy combos out of it. It's basic ones if you're okay, or crazy good ones if you're super good. Um, and there's force break on, which is really fun too because it lets you, lets you do, um, lets you do another on. Yeah, so like if we grab somebody with epi on, it's really fun because we can. Air dash and do another on, <laughs> and then we can do we can do more stuff. Um, on has uh, some depth to it because at the beginning of it you can get uh, you can get combos, or rather, if it's at the beginning you can get combos. You can either get um, a simple super jump combo follow up, 
Um, against some people, not soul, I believe, you can do um, a hard slash Fujin and then do the force break Rin to follow up. Uh, against lightweights like Mei or Baiken, you can do that. Uh, most easily, Emilia, you know, and that does huge damage, chip and whatnot. The crazier option that I don't I don't go for in real matches is to air dash. You can air dash, and uh, it's a little character specific, but it depends on which character it is. You can do a certain button. I can I can maybe I can maybe show it real quick on Faust. There it is. Yeah, so like with with on you can um, you can do you can do a bunch of crazy things like that, a um, bunch of character specific things. Like also like you can just do two D and on into on, onto Faust if you want to, um, and you can use on to uh, follow up with the with the super. So so on is also a flexible tool, and force break on is really cool too against like Faust super jumping or Bridget hanging out in the air or really anybody. Um, jumping up a ton, like in the corner, like double jumping, and we can just snatch them out of the air. You know, we call it Superman. Has an FRC on it too for some funny reason, in case you want to change your mind, <laughs> or or just uh, get some crazy movement um, out of it. If we were gonna talk about combos a little bit more, there's 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 two quick things that I want to mention, which I think are are are, are worth it. Um. With the super jump combos, uh, what many people don't know is that there's a there's a generous delay you have to add after JK onto S. So Anji's like JK actually does a fair amount of hit stun. See, so look at that hit stun. Right. So if you if you the main thing with those that like that combo is delaying that um, to get it to hit. So, that, so that's like one thing that I think beginners should uh, pay attention to. But the, the super jump routes just kind of vary on a lot of people. The, the one that I'm trying to do on Sol here is... This is the most universal one for a knockdown. Um, but one cool thing that I um, also want to show really quick is... Recently we've been learning these like re-jump combos and they're kind of insane. Basically... Anji can do something like like uh, similar to that, but then into like a double loop like that. That uh, there, I actually man. There. So uh, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of routes that he can do with that with a re jump on a bunch of characters. Doesn't work on every single one, but it was basically a falling. Uh, you know, it was JD into falling uh, JS into standing P into another re jump. So that's kind of cool. Otherwise, like mid screen, you can always stick to a route like this, which uh, which involve which won't knock down, but it it involves a super jump cancel, uh, a jump install, and actually like uh, if we're talking like about me personally as an Anji, um, when I learned this combo, I was extremely hype. This combo existed uh, since Reload, if not if not old, if not more. But I this was like kind of like your main go to combo and reload and it was just like so many hits i i really loved uh doing it when i learned how to um how to uh jump install uh it's really cool for me and then uh you can like do something like this if you want if you want to this this combo this one specifically here actually used to be my old go-to combo um before like doing better with the uh, with the uh, non-meter knockdown combos but i loved doing that very high orb into into an RC into on. I just kind of have a couple of you know old favorite combos that I used to do for years. So actually it's kind of funny how when you're an older player like me, <clears throat> you kind of have some of your ways set for a long time and it's actually harder to you know switch to something new or more efficient or more optimal because sometimes you just have those favorites that are your like go-to favorites. Any more crucial combo points? No, that's about it. I think I think the thing with Anji uh, in terms of in terms of comboing is to just know, understand um, the flexibility of his normals, um, the importance of FB Rin, and just being willing to pour some meter into it. You know, just go for it. Don't feel bad if you spend if you spend meter on it or or whatnot. Um, and the importance of converting 
into HS Fujin or stringing into 5HS being like your goal to do damage, whether it's like from this or this, or 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 you can even do this route and this route um, from 2D into S Fujin. So I think that's like the the things that you want to focus on as a as a newer player. Hey, you talked a lot about Anji's offense, and you know we maybe we've touched on this a little bit in terms of his kit, but. You know, part of fighting games is you got to play a little defense sometimes. How is Anji on defense? How how can he turn things around? Does he have any good tools to deal with pressure? Yeah, so Anji actually, you know, a lot of people will meme that Anji's a gorilla who does not like to block. And it's kind of funny because it's it, it sounds like one of those legends that has a little bit of truth to it. Uh, Anji's guard gauge, actually his risk gauge, builds up a little bit faster than some other characters. Um, the modifier is a little bit higher on it. So uh, so Anji, yeah, actually the character does not like to block. That's true. Um, and the, the way we deal with it is in addition to just all the regular tools, um, Anji has a lot of very powerful anti-airs. So 6P is a very powerful anti-air and so is 5P. 5P is like a high level move for being just a punch which means it packs a lot of guard stun on it. Uh, it, it it's like very, it's like untackable on air counter hit. Um, it goes into just full combos. If we set him to a jumping state, you know, you can see like what a good quick uh, anti-air is this, this is. And also just like the combo conversion you can get from it. You know, full combo basically or super jump. Super jump stuff for sure. Um, so there's and then there's on as an anti air as well, and there's the five oh, the five D into into force breaks um, in points that I mentioned earlier, um, and then we have six K as a frame one guard point move, which is good, which is good on uh, wake up. It it's a little bit difficult to do um, because you have to press it precisely when you wake up i think you have basically two frames to do it um and then you can go into the k guard point special which will beat things out or you can do 3k into the low low guard point um and also as a way to protect yourself from command throws or you can do fujin on wake up which has invul for about 12 frames i, I believe so if you're knocked down you can do fujin um Fujin can be baited, can be thrown, Fujin can be hit in its later frames, so Fujin has a bunch of weaknesses as well. If Sol does like a, like a, like a late 5HS, he should be able to beat us out actually, if, if I can time this right. Yeah, see like that. So he's catching you after the guard point frames have like ended? After the invul frames, right? Because this is this is like a DP. Okay. But yeah, anything anything like very active or like late can stuff it. So see, uh, the, the the trade is towards him. So yeah, it's a, it's it's basically like a DP. It's just a horizontal DP. So that's another defensive option for Anji. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, you sometimes might just have to rely on blocking. Um, sometimes it might be too risky to do a guard point because with guard points you are still calling out highs or lows. Um, and you know, a, a careful player might just hit you with a bunch of lows, um, and you might not, unless you do specifically 3k, you are not calling out that low. And then if you're doing 6k, you're just, get, you're just getting counter hit, basically. Um, so it's not always worth doing. Against another Anji, you can, uh, you can just guard point the first hit of Butterfly straight into the K guard point special. So... So Anji can do that, right? So if Anji does like a projectile to us on wake up, we can do that. Provided that we successfully do this like almost one frame meaty against so that's him. The, this, is it 6k? You said? It is 6k, yeah. I'm doing 6, 6k, trying to do it on f the first frame of wake up, and then we can stop his approach. You're switching Obviously, to the special so fast that I can't even see the 6k happen. 
Exactly. Yeah, that's why that's why I got this question a lot about like what 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 did he do do there? Like why did he do the guard point special? Like how did that happen? But yeah, I mean, and uh, if if the other Anji is a smart Anji player, then he will just guard point my guard point special back. <laughs> basically is what 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 he can do there but yeah that's 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 a good option against like projectiles or like anything that like kai will put out or maybe milia disc but but milia for example is also just free to jump out or or bait it or or biken is free to do that too if she does uh to uh, falling to tommy on our on our head so yeah I'd say that yeah, Anji has some good defensive options. You know, there's also just like backdashing, which can be strong in the corner against some normals. <clears throat> but definitely with the with the guard point options and Fujin, it is a little scary to attack Anji on wake up. But an overconfident Anji might make it his downfall to by overusing 6k and and stuff like that. So, blue cash. If someone came to you today and said, hey. I'm interested in Nanji. I'm on the fence about it, but I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to pick him up. What would you tell them to convince them to play Anji? Why should someone play this character in Guilty Gear X and Core plus R? I think if you play a character like Anji, you have good taste, personally. <laughs> I think you are a man of a man or woman of culture. I really cherish Anji because he's a stylish character with lots of options to play and like an all-around tool set. So I think he's great for people who enjoy improvisation and coming up with pressure on the fly. So I think that's where the fun of the character truly lies. You know, sometimes I I, I will just kind of like bet on a call out with the with with the with the guard points or something like that. I will just kind of take a bet. Like I, I I'm a risk reward type of person who likes to be like, okay, there is like, you know, one window here where I could possibly do a guard point, but you know, if I do the guard point special here, then I will win. Um, and I'm the kind of person that that enjoys that. I am the kind of person who likes to see that super special hidden counter type of move. So I really enjoy that. But other than that, he's just really fun to play. A really fun character to like pressure with. Um, very cool looking combos. Very cool. Very cool pressure. Um, I think I think he's a very well balanced character in plus R. Sometimes he feels like he's super strong. Sometimes he feels like a little weak, and that's fine. But uh, but he's a ton of fun, and I think he's very rewarding. And I think he is uh, pretty accessible, but also has a crazy high, really fun ceiling to to pick at. All right, Wukash, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for sharing the knowledge today. Do you want to plug your stuff here? Do you have a Twitch stream, a YouTube channel? Where can people find you? Yes, please. Especially if you're interested in Plus R. Um, I, I stream pretty regularly, uh, usually like every other day on Twitch. So that's twitch.tv slash Wukash PL. So W-O-O-C-A-S-H-P-L. Um, and then I funnel some of the matches onto YouTube and YouTube you can if you search for Wukash you'll probably find it uh, the proper channel name is Wukash 1618 and my Twitter is at Luke Shooty S-H-O-O-T-Y it's just a funny it's just a phonetic way to pronounce my Polish last name um, so yeah I highly encourage you to come and hang out in my stream. I'm very chill. I like to answer questions. I like to um, just show like high level play or low level play if I'm feeling bad. But um, but yeah, I love I love chatting with people and then and, and teaching them and just having fun and and and, and answering questions too.